A balanced set of perks provide variety in the tier 2 perk slot, but which one is best suited to your playstyle? Best tier 2 perk in Black Ops Cold War. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, with almost everyone using Flak Jacket in Tier 1 and Ghost and Ninja dominating Tier 3, I thought it was appropriate to take a closer look at the perks available in the second tier. In today's video, we'll break down the details of all five of the Tier 2 perks and see if we can figure out which is best. Let's jump right in and start things off with the Assassin perk. The in-game description tells us that the Assassin perk will display enemies that appear on your minimap with a crosshair indicator if they're on a kill streak, and you'll receive extra score for taking them down. When you have the Assassin perk equipped, any enemies which have at least two successive kills without dying and appear on your minimap by either firing an unsuppressed weapon or from a spy plane will be highlighted with a crosshair and you can now focus your attention on this enemy to end his streak. Authorizing spy plane launch. It's important to note that the crosshair indicator will only be visible for you and will not be displayed to teammates. If you kill this enemy, you'll receive a score bonus. This bonus value is 50 score multiplied by the length of the kill streak the enemy was on. If the enemy was on a streak of two kills, the bonus will be 100 score. If he was on a streak of 10 kills, the bonus becomes 500. The Assassin perk is countered by simply staying off radar. With a suppressor equipped, gunfire won't show up on radar, and in addition, the Ghost perk provides immunity to spy planes. And as long as the enemy is moving while spy planes are active, the Assassin perk will have no benefit. Next up, we'll look at the Gearhead perk. Gearhead will reduce the field upgrade recharge time and allow you to store one extra field upgrade. The field upgrade recharge time is represented by a yellow circle surrounding the field upgrade symbol. When the circle is filled, you'll earn one field upgrade. With Gearhead equipped, you'll be able to store two field upgrades in your inventory and the charge time will be reduced by 25%. It's important to note that if you have two field upgrades deployed at any given time, attempting to deploy a third will cause the field upgrade which was placed first to be destroyed. The Quartermaster perk will recharge your equipment every 25 seconds. With Quartermaster equipped, you'll have an endless supply of lethal and tactical equipment. The recharging process is indicated by the yellow progress bar underneath the lethal and tactical equipment icon. Once you throw the equipment, the timer starts and in 25 seconds you'll be resupplied. This is a very useful perk. It allows you to throw grenades and tacticals liberally without worrying about wasting them. This allows you to check for enemies. Simply toss a stun or flash grenade and if you see a hit marker, you'll know that enemies are present. The scavenger perk allows you to replenish ammo from fallen players. To replenish your ammo, you'll need scavenger equipped and you'll need to find fallen enemies. They'll drop ammo packs regardless of how they died. The ammo pack can be picked up simply by running over it and you'll gain two magazines worth of ammo reserves even if the player died with no ammo. This is a very valuable perk when going for the higher streaks. Even though it's possible to top up at the various supply stations located on each map, with Scavenger you won't have to give up your positional advantage when topping up. Lastly, we'll look at Tracker. Tracker allows us to see enemy footsteps and aiming at enemies will reveal them on our team's minimap. With Tracker equipped, you'll see footprints from enemy players. They're bright red, 
easily visible and will last for six seconds before fading. In addition to displaying footprints, Tracker also offers benefits for your teammates. Aiming down sights at an enemy will highlight them on the minimap of all your teammates. In this example, my teammate has Tracker equipped. Once he aims down sight at an enemy, the enemy becomes highlighted with a crosshair on my minimap. The counter to the Tracker perk is Spycraft. Enemies with Spycraft equipped are completely immune to Tracker. They won't leave any footprints and will not be displayed on the minimap when aimed at by a teammate with Tracker equipped. So now that we've discussed how each of the Tier 2 perks work, which one is best? I think the answer to that question depends on your particular goals. If your goal is Team Victory, then I think the Tracker perk is quite strong. Not so much for the footprints, but the ability to display enemies on your teammates' minimap simply by aiming at them will be a huge boost to your team's map awareness. On the other hand, if your main goal is to go after the high kill streaks, then I would recommend the Scavenger perk. With Scavenger, you won't have to give up your positional advantage when topping up, and this will allow you to continue using your optimal gun setup and not need to search for a usable weapon on the ground from a fallen enemy. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and now I would like to hear from you guys. What is your favorite perk in Tier 2, and why? Let me know in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.